Hello YouTube, this is Todd Rod again. Making this video just to show everyone how I make my trout lines. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the ones you get at Walmart, but I made this one a lot longer. It's a lot more heavy duty compared to the Walmart ones. So this is how I do it. Uh, from Walmart, I use big, got bought a big roll of this green twisted nylon line. It has a 330 pound tensile strength on it to both ends of it I snapped on these end clips because what I do is I wrap the rope around a tree normally if I'm running across a bayou rope the, wrap the rope around a tree and then snap this back onto the line instead of doing a, a, a tie off it's much quicker that way then I run about 8 to 10 foot of straight line nothing in it and then I start hooking up my swivels which what I do is make two knots in the line with the swivel in between and then on my first my first one what I'll do is this is where I hook my weights up at and that's just a, a quick snap that you get at Walmart or any fishing supply store for trout lines then to that I have my little bundle of weights these are just uh, I cast my own bullets so I have a bunch of lead available so this will be on my first hook my first drop I'm sorry and then what I do is every three foot I do the two knots in the line with the swivel and then for my drops I have the stainless steel clip with a swivel on that and then I've got about a 12 inch drop with a 5 aught circle hook. And basically I do this until I have enough hooks and drops on the line, which this line has 50 hooks on it. It's about 200, 200 foot long total. And what I'll do is, today I'm going to put this out. Now normally when I put my trout lines out, I'm running it across a bayou and I'll tie each end off to trees. Today I'm going to put it out in the middle of a lake which there are no trees available. So what I'm going to do is on the ends of my line after it's sunk and normally I'm going to have three of these weight bundles on the line to keep it down the bottom. On one end, I'm just going to tie on a 20 ounce coke bottle to the end of it <coughs> as my marker. So I can find it easier. Although I do use GPS, I just don't have a, my grapple made yet to uh, just drag it. So this will be the only thing floating in the lake to, that anyone could key on that something is down below. So I'll just have one on one end and that'll be the end that I start checking my trout line. Just pick this up, pick up the floater and then just start running it. 